We have got to get finish the proceeding. I mean, it wasn't just, hey, would you mind coming down and helping us out? It was panic. Uh, it was, you know, there was noise outside the door. There was, you know, the people were worried for their lives. Governor Larry Hogan says he saw the new video from January 6th. Clips of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi working the phone, trying to get the National Guard and state police from Virginia and Maryland to Capitol Hill. Putting on their tear gas masks. Governor Hogan says this is an accurate depiction. He was on the other end of the calls from congressional leaders that day. They were desperately looking for help, and they said that uh, Capitol was under attack, under assault. The Capitol Police were overwhelmed and overrun, and they were, you know, scared. I didn't realize there was a video of Nancy Pelosi talking to Northam, and she, you know, she was saying, you know, Leader Hoyer just talked to Governor Hogan, and this is what Governor Hogan said. They don't have approval. We fought for two and a half hours to get that approval. I finally got a call from Secretary. Uh, acting Secretary of the Army, R Ryan McCarthy, who said, Governor, can you send the Maryland National Guard to the U.S. Capitol? And I said, we've been trying to do that for two and a half hours. Governor Hogan also recounted that on January 6th, National Guard troops and police from the state of Maryland were the first from outside D.C. to arrive at the scene. It was obviously a day I'll never forget. Today, Governor Hogan also said, his administration acted very quickly and very strongly, the action they took. And he said he's grateful that it could, because it could have turned out much worse, and he's grateful it did not. Reporting live from Annapolis tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.